Welcome back. It's Nat, Fab Life. And if you guys hadn't heard me say this already, Fab is for fitness and beauty. Today is going to be a beauty tutorial. I'm using products from Walmart. I'm keeping it frugal. I'm keeping it affordable. I'm keeping things fab, balanced. So with that being said, if you can appreciate a soft glam for an affordable price, stick around. Let's see it. This is the Fit Me number 338 in Spicy Brown. Spicy Brown. So, but first I want to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a primer on. This primer is one of my favorites by Morph. So, this is still along the rims of affordable, so let's do. Right. A little goes a long way. Remember, balance, all right, so. I always start my lotion or whatever I'm using right down the middle. Um, oh, my skin feels amazing. Um, if you have not yet saw my um, checked out my video where I did the derma planning from home, um, you should see it. Just let some of it come out, and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna dab some in my the places where I want. Um, I usually always start at the bottom here. And let's just see how it does before I put it all over my face. All right, I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm just going to work. All right, so it looks like it has a medium coverage. Um, I'm going to want to put maybe, if I was doing like a really beat face, I guess, I would want to cover my blemishes or, let's see, go in with my uh, corrector. Um, let me find some corrector and come back. Alright, so <clears throat> I was only able to find my powder corrector from my um, Anastasia Contour Kit. I do apologize. I'm veering away from the purpose here, but um, I just need to color correct just a little bit. So I'm going to use my um, one of my fluffier foundation brush and I'm just going to get just a little bit. I'm going to shake it off. You don't need a whole lot if you're color correcting, which um, you want to just... This is just to help with my blemishes a little bit and I'm going to... You don't need a whole lot because you don't want the orange showing it. Y'all getting all this forehead today, honey. It is. is like this is my perfect color oh my goodness y'all like what it's doing hold on compare let's come in compare there's my one side without any i just did a little bit of orange there to color correct some of my blemishes from my old adult acne because that's over over and then this is the other side This is actually just gonna be a soft. This is gonna be a soft look, so we don't have to do a whole lot. All right, this is the aftermath. What do you guys think? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I agree. It's a winner. I noticed that when I went in, they had two different ones. They had the one with um, vitamin E and the one with the clay. Initially, I was going to get the one with the vitamin E because I just love vitamin E and I usually have dry skin in the winter. Um, but they didn't have my color, so I went with the clay. Um, and I actually like this one. So this is what it looks like again. Then again, you guys aren't new to this. I am, right? But if you are, go check it out because, hey, the proof is in the pudding. This is, this is good. Yeah. I'm gonna try this one for my, my contour to my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, milk product. You do, you do want to prime your eyes and your face when you are dealing with um, eyeshadow. It's just going to allow your eyeshadows to actually stick and they're gonna look a whole lot better than without. More. Less is more when you're dealing with your contour of your eye, okay? I'm gonna put a little here and just a little here. Less is more. Okay. Notice I didn't go all underneath my eyes cause because I don't want all that creasing under my eye. Even though the the primer is supposed to help with the creasing, I just don't. You don't need a whole lot. All right, I may not have scored with the color on the honey. This might be somebody else's color. Is it? Let's see. Let's keep going. All right. What do you guys think? Yeah, your name? Maybelline. So what I would say is that, um, I'm gonna let you guys in closer. It, it works itself into the skin pretty well. The eyeshadow that I'm, the palette that I'm gonna use is also from Walmart. It's the News of New York by Maybelline. You guys see that? I'm gonna start with a nice neutral color. And what brush I'm looking for? I'm going to, blend i'm going to mix two colors i'm going to mix the color explorer right here explorer and i'm going to mix it with creator creator explorer i'm going to mix those two and just put it on as an overall shade okay um i'm just going to start right there in that corner all right. You want closer? Come closer. I don't mind. I'm not gonna bite you. All right. That good, yeah. I'm gonna get in that socket. Start in the corner. All right. And then we're gonna blend. When you're blending, hold it at the tip. Hold your brush at the tip, not not up here, down here, okay? I'm gonna go in with a tan, one of these tan colors uh, I might have to mix. I'm gonna try heroin. Uh, where you at? Heroin here. It's a tan, and I might mix it uh, might not, we'll see. Let's just start it first. All right, so, and I'm gonna put it right here on the um, 
in on my lid area and I'm going with a flatter brush um, and I'm just going to I'm not I don't want it on this side of my lid I'm just staying with the inner corner in the middle I should have cut crease it but um, what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix it with the color right above it, Artist. So I'm gonna use um, heroin and Artist. All right. Yeah, I like that better. I'm gonna take my, um, I'm just gonna take a clean brush, just a fluffy one. This is by Morph, um, just so I could blend out any harsh lines. Nice and soft. Let's try Self Starter. Sounds like the girl. Self starter. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this more dense brush and I'm just going to put that right there. Okay, and then we're gonna blend it out, okay? Keep it soft. Go in a circular motion. Um, so for harsh lines, if you have any harsh lines right here, um, I usually take my powder, the one, you know, your foundation powder and clean it up. So that's the thing I'm going to do. All right. So I'm going to take Dreamer and just put it in the corner a little bit. Dreamer. Focus, focus right there. Dreamer. All right, we're gonna put Dreamer here. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'm gonna come back to the camera, okay? All right, I'm back and I finished the other eye. I went ahead and did my, you know, cat eye, whatever, and went ahead and put on my lashes. And I didn't do it in front of the camera because this isn't a eyelash wingtip tutorial. And I still kind of suck at that. So here we are. Okay, so welcome back. And I want you guys to take a look. Um, I'm letting my lashes dry and while that does, Oh, I did use the um, the Ardell lashes from Walmart, um, the Wispies. So they um, they're not as dramatic, which is really good because I'm not going for a really dramatic look right now. Um, anyways, I bought this buffing foundation brush, and it feels so good. Um, looks like this. And I'm gonna use it to um, apply some bronzer, the bronzer palette from e.l.f. Um, when I went in there, they only had one kind, so we'll see if it's, if it's the color for me or not. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mix some colors, cause I'm not sure. So these are the colors, and I'm going to mix them. 
you have to find kind of what color works best for your skin. I'm going to mix these two and see if that works pretty good for my skin. All right, and we're just going to hit it right there where the, where the light normally hits your skin. don't have this brush if you don't have brushes and you're working on your brush this one I'm gonna keep it it's a keeper um, go get this brush because it feels so good it just makes you feel like it's doing its job right and I think lastly I bought the um, mocha twist lip gloss by elf get the name in there now anyways so no lipstick just just has a little bit of color and it has that a bit of that plumping effect so you're gonna feel that tingling that tingling feeling like your lips are growing when they really not like your lips are pumping and they really not it's just a sensation in my opinion all right this is the final look. I'm going to give you guys a close up and tell me what you think, okay? Coming closer, closer. Bam. What do you think? Mm. Did I mess that lash up or what? Did I get my wingtips right or what? Mm. We'll see.